Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks. Today I discuss about a very important topic, mainly mineral exploration. So today's session I will discuss about that how we can we use the Google Earth engine to making the quarters mapping and also gold prospecting. So I'll try to explain all of things step by step. Then I hope you can also try to use this technique and try to identify the gold potential zone or gold deposit zone we also try to identify easily and further this map we also use as a primary survey for our mining area so basically in this case first of all here you can see this type of layer i already created so this is the quarters index we already created after that this is the iron oxide then clay alternation then line means we also create using send it on one server data for that gold deposit area and finally also clear about the gold potential zone okay so basically in this time we find out this type of place red color indicating about that high quarters and this type of place we also find out that high potential zone of gold deposit so if you check it uh, this is the uh, just I simply decrease this then you can easily get you can see so basically this type of red color indicating about that uh, for the quarters for the quarters this type of red color it's indicating about the high density of the quarters and uh, if you just check it then we also find out that in the quarters area we find out that high potential zone of the gold deposit so you can see this type of result we find out in here so basically in this case we are using the different types of satellite imagery so first of all we try to use here ester okay then we also use here sentinel 2 and also use here the sentinel 1 for detecting the quarters then iron oxide and clay alternation and structural line means we also try to create okay so first of all just simply import the ester satellite imagery for your study area and if you check this is the equation about that quarters detection using ester bands ratio so it just use a band ratio so this is the band ratio just we apply and then we calculate the quarters index after that for the iron oxide and also clay alternation mapping we are just called the signal to harmonize satellite imagery and filtering it and apply a formula you can see this is the formula about that iron oxide b4 band divided by b12 band and we identify for iron oxide mainly hemitate and geothic detection so high positive value indicating about the high iron oxide concentration it's indicating after that we try to calculate the clay mineral index so this is the calonite detection we have just used this ratio so this is the formula about that calonite just apply it and then identify for uh, calonite detection and then for that line mint detection we are using the bb polarization and just simply call the sentinel one server data and do it and then enhance alignment using the s detection we also use these things and then cano is detection detector function we are also use and further we simply combine all of band together and then we create this type of gold potential zones okay so basically a high positive value indicating about that high quarters area for gold deposit potentiality okay so this technique is also useful for the primary survey on the gold deposition area or identify for the gold potential zone so i hope this things is also help you and further if you want to learn the more details about that then you can simply contact with me and further you can easily learn this type of things so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe